One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. This is a different kind of car review video. This is an 07 E450 14 foot U-Haul cutaway. Uh, it's a nice little rig. I've used it here for the past two days. And I'm gonna go over everything with you, how the little deal works with U-Haul and you name it. I'm gonna do the quick walk around and kind of show you the U-Haul, show you what you get. Um, like I said, this is a 14 footer. Um, they have 10s, 14s, 17s, up into the 20s. 26, I think, is the biggest. That is Breeder. She's all the way up there at my mom's house and thinks she's dying or something. So we'll do the quick walk around, and then I'll show you some features and kind of what I think about what I've rented. Um, back in the day, you rented a U-Haul, man. It seems like they were all wore out. Old, wore out vehicles. That is not the case with the U-Haul of today. I'll tell you that right now. It's a nice rig. 07, I guess that's seven years old, but at the same eight years maybe now. God, time flies. But I'll tell you what, it's a clean rig and they've kept it nice. Um, it seems to be well maintained. I'm gonna go over all the warning stickers and all that. Under 14, whatever, gross. That's important too if you're a bit taller than me, I'll bet. There is warnings up the pazoodle. One of the first things you may be wondering is, what do you got to sign to rent this thing? Well, not much. You get a safety rental remove benefits because I bought the insurance. I would definitely suggest buying the insurance. Oh, well, my mom and dad just got home. They give you all kinds of Warnings, useful info for breakdowns. Come on. Seriously, it's stuck. It's like it's not in. That's what you got to sign and the cost it says 234 that's not the cost it's oh sorry you can't there we go 29.95 a day and safety move was 28 dollars a day and then you pay come on 99 cents a mile so that is the cost can't get that key out though. We'll go over some inside stuff in a second. I'm gonna continue to go over the outside a little bit. I wanted to show you the cost and everything. If you want to pause that and read it, that's pretty cool. And I will tell you that I'm very happy with the tires. Little titties all over the side. These are brand new. Now I'm not gonna say the one you're gonna get is gonna have brand new tires like this. But all six of these are about as new as it gets. <laughs> People, you just let every Tom, Dick, and Harry drive this stuff and you can see it on the sides are just tore. Hope they don't try and clip me for any of that. That's what I always wonder. Yeah, see they got little stickers on it right there. See a little X? I'll find you one to close up here, right there. Okay, chips and everything in it. I'm not reviewing that part because I'm not selling it. All your trucks should have their own personal number. And out of that, I'm sure you've noticed, they'll have a theme for a state usually. Now, if you've never rented a U-Haul, this is a cool video to check out. If you have, well, that's cool too. Okay, I'm gonna show you the rest of the truck. 
where the truck is shown. I don't think there's anything else as far as warnings and such. Oh, there was one on the other side. And I'll show you. This is perhaps interesting. Pretty serious right there. Poor breeder. Mom and Dad got home and she's just having a fit. Somebody graffitied on it, but that's been claimed. Chips here. Okay, so as you can see, there's little little claim chips everywhere. Um, there was some more writing on the back. I'm gonna go ahead and take the back down and show you how easy that is to do. This is one thing about it that is serious. I mean, if you're running, I used to have the old truck. It was like a box van, and that is where the height deck, deck of the height was, height of the deck. And it's a long, long ways. And when you're clipping stuff up out of here, it makes it a lot easier. Let's go ahead and... It's a lot of box. That's what she said. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you the ramp, too comes with the dolly and the furniture pads in it, but you can't use them. They come with this clip. A little zip tie. It's $7 if you unclip it. Wow. Interesting. And this is the same as $10. Lots of room. I don't load much out there. 300 pounds ain't much when you load around some boxes. It could depend. Okay, that is the deal. Wow, I never knew. It could turn off and on. It was just on. Breeder's just having a fit up there. Well, there's some little tips there. I'm just going to show this. It's a different kind of review. The 14 foot thrifty mover. I don't know if you can hear her. And I'm going to go ahead and yank the ramp down for you too. Where you can see right now. Now as you'll notice, my truck is pointed downhill. So this is, should not be that easy. However, I will say, this is the lightest and easiest. Look at that. Thousand pound maximum property of U-Haul. Not to be sold. That means somebody sold one. So. This guy has to be the most annoying of Anybody I have as he zips up and down the road at 180. Well, not 180. Okay, push that down. Simply pull it back. From there. He's hard on every car they have. Usually he builds out on everything. Okay. Check this out. All you do, I'm going to do it with one hand. No, I'm not. It's not that heavy, but one hand is a little bit of a strip. God, you're just having a fit. Just grab it by the sides. Fold up and drop it in the holes. Easy deal. Easy peasy spreezy. So, that's the deal. As far as putting it back, it's just as easy. I'm going to hang this around my neck. See the connected there? She's just having a fit. Breeder, stop it! That might work. Okay, let's see.
It's just that easy. That's all there is to say about it. Okay. Sorry to leave the camera bouncing around. But what can I do? Okay, that is that. That's the ramp. That's the whole thing. That's the U-Haul. Now I'm going to go for a test drive with you, kind of show you how it runs. We'll zip around the block. She needs a spanking. They're barking away. Tinybeagles.com. You can see what they look like. Look like, excuse me. That's that. We've done the walk around. And we're going to head on down the road. I think my camera's overheating, so if it clips off, well, we'll clip it in some other way. Well, it did indeed go dead. And I'm gonna have to get breeder. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come here. You're so funny. Okay. Well, she's gonna go with us. Even though you're probably gonna make the truck dirty. She gets to go lots of places. You have to sit. 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 Good girl. Stay. Let me show you that. This way. Now I'm going to do the start up with it looking at this one. goes my drink but we got it now look at that beautiful sunset <clears throat> okay now one thing about the insides of these no tape player CD player or ports or any of that you got AC that's the main thing passenger airbag I don't know I think they're stupid to begin with and then you got not passengers airbag kill you and then you got the little spot mirrors that aren't so little. I just like old. That's why I think that's stupid. I like an old all metal car. Arr! Yeah. Sounds like a diesel bit. Okay, I'm gonna start off from a flat spot here. I like that downshift on the tranny. Okay, we're gonna watch this gauge. That's gonna be good right there. Now I'm gonna actually try. To keep it in the green, you can hardly put any pressure to it. Whoa! That's an 1800 and it just about dipped into the red pretty hardcore there. I love that downshift. Now I meant to get it in the red there. So, I'm sure that was a bit bouncier. I'll zoomed in on that, sorry about that.
This is right where I gotta go to take it. Another thing I noticed is it starts off in the tow haul mode. Normal trucks start off the other way. If you're moving, this is likely the easiest, just hands down easiest way to do it. We've actually went 18.9 miles and uh, it hasn't moved on the gas gauge too much. But I you know, the Camino, I just seen a pickup truck car. That's all I see. Well, I wanted to get somewhat of a test drive here. You ain't gonna keep it in the green all the time if you're driving any any way too much, I guess you'd say. Any way too much. Comfortable, I've gotta say, the seats are very comfortable. One thing, come on dude, it is hard about this, is being able to see around corners like this. I'm just barely on it, and I'm just in the red. At like 2,800 RPMs. That guy almost went off the road. Well, that is the test drive of the 14 foot. Away. E450. E450. Thanks for watching. You know, I was gonna show the motor, even though I know good now. You ain't gonna hear much. Man, this thing. Has got some rinking and tinking. Ooh, I thaw it, baby. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna show you that under the hood. Even though I'm sure you ain't gonna see much. No, and it's dirty. No more battery with a thousand cold cranking amps. Tell me I shouldn't change that out with something else. Damn. Nice battery. Okay, thanks for watching. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Hope you enjoyed and hope that helped you on your choice. If you've got to make a U-Haul rental, I'd say do it. It's cheap, easy, and it's the way to go. Right now I'll have 21 miles when I get it back. That'll be $20.79 and um, plus the 60 and 60. Yeah, you know, I'll have 135 bucks in it or so, 140 But nice two-day deal. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. OneOwnerCarGuide.com. I'll get you any kind of classic or real regular car you want. We'll talk to you.